Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove your sound deadening in your old school car. In this case, it's gonna be an old school Mercedes, like this one. So we're gonna be removing uh, all the floor mats and carpets, and I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to actually remove the sound deadening that's sitting underneath the carpets. All right, guys, so right here, I've removed this trim piece already. Okay, and uh, I've removed this uh, main floor mat and this exposes your uh, sound deadening. This is not the floor, this is actually the sound deadening. So, um, the reason why you want to remove your sound deadening is because it actually holds a lot of moisture inside and it's pretty bad. Uh, so, you want to remove everything, inspect everything, all the floors for rust and if there's any uh, rust in there, fix it. It's really important actually. Um, I'll show you a really bad case on that other car um, that actually has a lot of rust holes um, and I had to actually remove the sound ending like the whole thing uh, just to see uh, what's under uh, the sound ending because it was actually pretty bad so I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, welding on that car uh, so uh, another thing uh, to watch out for is if you have an old car uh, like for example the old school Benzes make sure uh, to actually check under your carpets and uh, make sure there's you know that's everything is dry because the seals actually go bad on these cars uh, so there's actually windshield seals and everything door seals and they go bad and start leaking water and also like the battery um, which is located right here if you have the left hand drive car the battery is actually um, underneath on the right side and uh, it just you know the tray rusts out and under the tray there's actually holes in some of these cars so you have to check for that and fix everything otherwise the water is going to be leaking and it's going to just sit in there and accumulate underneath that sound deadening and it's going to start rusting everything so i'm going to be also removing this passenger seat out of this car but first i want to remove some of these parts so just this just comes out this covers the vacuum lines and all the electrical stuff here all right and then from this you want to actually remove these clips all right so in this case i'm going to use this clip to remove all so i'll have to take those off and then take that guy off there's just phillips and then probably that plate a plastic plate so and then after that's going to expose this whole area So uh, when you remove the carpet, some paint may come off actually, which is normal. Uh, you will just have to um, paint this area uh, afterwards. Don't leave it like that because it will start rusting. Mm. And yeah, you just kind of peel, just to keep peeling it until you remove it completely. Like so. So you want to check all this area for the metal and everything you want to check all that so i'll be probably peeling this sound deadening off so make sure there's some rust right there okay you also um might need to remove the glove box which is what i'm doing now okay everything's out of the way it's going to be getting cleaned up and this is not broken this just connects right here when you're removing this panel uh it goes this way so pull it this way kind of wiggle and pull it this way all right don't just pull it out like this because you're gonna break the clips it has to come out towards you and now you can remove this guy this other panel right there this will all be getting cleaned up some coins that's cool right there and this can all be cleaned as well and 
like this exposes your vacuum controls here for the climate control all right guys so you, once you have the air exposed uh, you know of the sound deadening uh, you can go ahead and I'll show you uh, how to actually start peeling that sound deadening uh, so what you want to do is you want to find the easiest spot uh, where you can start peeling that so in this case uh, it's gonna be like right here so you can even grab your fingers and just start peeling this away okay all this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that especially like on around this area okay and I haven't decided yet but I'll probably pull this whole thing off um, and I just gotta inspect everything for rust okay so I started peeling this and I mean so far it looks so good um, everything's fine the only thing is that this area right here is rusty a little bit which is not a big deal uh, I can clean it up with a sandpaper and paint everything um, the main goal is to if you see rust you have to keep digging okay until you see clean metal okay so this is kind of like clean metal already that I can see the only area that's rusty is just this small area okay and as far as this sound ending it's actually coming up pretty easy uh, because it's really thick as you can see uh, that's how thick it is so it's coming off really easy but in some spots mercedes-benz and other cars they actually put really thin sound ending so in those cases you're gonna need either a grinder or you're gonna need like a, a heat gun to actually heat that thing up and then it's gonna be easier for you to peel also another tip is don't use these uh, uh metal tools to actually like uh you know pry on that sound deadening just because uh you're gonna probably score and damage the metal uh, and expose uh bare metal so what i recommend is some plastic tools like maybe strong plastic tools you know unless you know that you're gonna actually touch all the areas up then you can go ahead and use the metal tools but just be very careful and a couple more th tips is uh the way you can find because i I mean so far it's looking good right here and right there so I don't know if I'm gonna actually peel everything off um, but another thing what I can do is I can check from underneath to make sure as because you, sometimes you can actually see rust spots from underneath that I'm gonna show you in a second and that will actually show you uh, where to look for that rust and where you want to peel that sound deadening um, but in this car it's it's not too many places but there's still some uh, especially like where the seat area is that's uh, pretty common on these w126s and other old school benzes so i'm gonna do that uh, but yeah let me show you something from underneath so as you can see this is all oily because i sprayed a uh, undercoating i sprayed like um a fluid film basically a long time ago if you guys want to look up the fluid film i'll leave some links down below you guys can go ahead and order some film but fluid film i really like fluid film because it protects everything from rusting it's almost like a pretty much used oil that you just spray on and that thing just literally like protects everything I sprayed this like six months ago and it's still wet in some spots all right but long story short you're gonna start looking for rust okay so as you can see there's a rust spot right there okay and the factory undercoating is coming off so you're gonna want to check that all right and then you want to feel for soft spots okay you're gonna actually press on that metal underneath and feel the soft spots and there's a pretty bad rust right there and some on the back um, so that's what you have to do you have to feel for soft spots and look in those areas and this seat is definitely coming out uh, gotta inspect everything for rust and right here there's some rust starting okay so I'm gonna have to clean that up too uh, and, and what I'm gonna do is this is a really common area right here where the water just leaks and goes through um, so I'm gonna remove the rest of this uh, sound ending right here in this area and then just any areas where I suspect 
or if you're not sure just go ahead and remove the whole sound deadening and uh, you will be sure um, that you will find all the rust spots that need to be treated and you will have a peace of mind um, so yeah let me keep working on it and I'll give, get back to you with uh, some updates all right so uh, this is peeling pretty easy so far just gotta move these wires out of the way and then you can just use your hand and just peel it and then there's like small rust spots that I'm like finding like right there right there so I'm gonna keep digging I gotta make sure it's all good and fix whatever needs to be fixed because in a minute I'm gonna show you a car that's been leaking leaking water inside and it's been neglected that actually has rust holes everywhere under the sound deadening I removed four bolts from the seat I'm ready to pull the seat out right there everything's so dirty that one was supposed to be I had to disconnect that as well and I'm lucky I mean uh, the bolts for the rear um, seat mounts came out fine like no problem at all they're not rusty at all they're right there so sometimes you have to fight with them but in this case I got lucky all right guys I'm ready to pull the seat out it's all unbolted and also there's a connector right there that I removed because it's a power seat and now a very important thing is you cover uh, these areas up and the glove box and everything when you're taking the seat out because you got to be very careful um, you know don't scratch anything none of the surfaces um, so yeah ready to take the seat out So you see what I'm saying? You take it out and you kind of rest it right here on the rocker. Um, and then I have my coat over there so it's fine, it's not scratching anything. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, look at this guys look at this stuff a lot of garbage here oh no way Mercedes-Benz yeah see this car is from Midwest like I was telling you guys I drove this car all the way across the country so yeah and I'm gonna keep taking this carpet off and got a couple things here and there and i gotta clean it and yeah we're gonna see expose uh, some more of the sound deadening and yeah i'm sorry it's really dirty so i'm kind of doing it on the fly and uh, i know there's some areas in this spot um in this like rear compartment that i'm gonna have to weld um yeah so anyways guys I'm gonna get back to you with some updates. Once again, I'm gonna keep working on it. And guys, everything is removed here from this side. And don't worry, I'll vacuum out the carpet soon um, this can be lifted carefully what it really kind of sucks because um, it kind of goes to that side too so I would have to remove that seat and everything else to remove this thing as an assembly but for now I just want to lift it up kind of set it up um, okay just so I can work on this area 
there. I already see a problem right there. Okay, this is rusted out. Okay, I gotta uh, remove this uh, sound deadening ASAP. Alright guys, so I'm just holding it up like this for now uh, with a bungee cord and now I can start working on this area. Alright guys, real quick, so these are the factory uh, bends um, zip ties so I'll show you how to actually remove them without damaging them and without having to cut them because they're actually reusable. Alright guys, so I'm gonna grab my channel locks, I'm gonna squeeze these two together and with the other hand I'm gonna push this thing down okay it might take a couple tries but it's gonna come out there you go I pop this, all these clips off and expose these wires and uh, lines. And as you can see, this rust uh, is kind of forming. So I have to stop it ASAP and fix it. Um, otherwise, it's going to be the same as that 240D, my cherry pie. So I'm going to peel this sound deadening again. I'll try to be careful. Maybe I can save this up. But yeah, I have to go ahead and uh, remove all this stuff and probably take this off as well all these lines lift them up okay and remove this whole assembly so guys all right the pick also works in this case just go under it and like i said um the heat gun would help tremendously in this case I don't have one with me and also don't forget you have to wear safety glasses when doing this because when you peel it like this or start going against the sound deadening some of it can shoot in your eyes so PPE protective equipment so I'm digging it deeper and deeper until I don't see rust anymore but as you can see there's still rust right there so I gotta dig deeper. All right. Same on this side, guys. All right, guys. So there's our three areas exposed. There's one area, and as you can see, I was digging it up until you know I see clean metal and stuff like that. And um, then when we go here, there's another area. It's a pretty common area. Okay. And then again, I peeled it until it actually was showing good metal, okay? The best thing is actually to remove this whole um, sound deadening tool, so I'll probably do that. Uh, and then uh, when we go here, there's some more rust, okay? All right, guys, so at the end, when you're done, obviously you wanna, uh, you know, uh, I'm using some rust dissolver right now here in a couple of areas. That one I'm gonna 
come back of course I'm gonna I'm not gonna do everything today but I'm gonna be fixing and welding all this stuff that's why I applied the uh, wheel bearing grease and some spots too and also checked this guy and that seat mount is okay there's no rust uh, at all I peeled some uh, sound deadening over there um, and yeah actually some rust spots that I saw actually put some wheel bearing grease uh, because I won't be fixing everything today. In the meantime, I want to protect the area and seal it up so it doesn't keep rusting. So that's that's how everything is, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my. I don't know if it's going to be long, but it's probably going to be a really long video. <laughs> so let me know your opinions and any questions you have. You can ask. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for everything, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my recent videos as well as my playlists. I have a lot of videos. I'm posting videos every week, so thanks again, and take care. Save old school cars.